How would my exes describe our relationship? We met at... A social organization about 12 years ago. Both our families are friends. Probably on the beach. At Soho Beach House in Miami. My type is... Tall, athletic guys. Somebody who could keep up with her, be able to, you know, just keep that same energy. Someone who's equally as athletic as she is. They were attracted to my... Like her smile. She's got great skin. Dimples. Accents to smile. And I was attracted to their... My dance moves. That's how I used to get all the ladies. His lips. My confidence. I love Kim's face. My smile and my personality, I think. And mysterious kind of swag. They thought I looked like... She's a celebrity in her own right, so she looks like Savannah. Gabrielle Union. Like, what Niobe Campbell must have been like just coming in. I thought they looked like... There's nobody that I personally would compare myself to. I don't really think he looks like anyone. And when I have my baby face and got the dimples showing, maybe Tyson Beckford. With hair. These days, I get a lot of the weekend. Dave Chappelle and Denzel Washington. He's like my Denzel. Who made the first move? Me. <laughs> Definitely Savannah. I did. Yeah, 100%. What was the move? I probably made the first move, like while we were dancing. Back in the day, we used to like grind and stuff. <laughs> we knew each other all our life, so she sent me texts. Like, what's up? I'm in New York. You are too. <laughs> it was just a kiss. The way she smiled, I was just like, all right, I can't take it anymore. Our first date was... At this party that we went to. We went ice skating. First date was P.F. Chang's. It did not go well at all. Oh gosh, that first date. The wine wasn't good, the food wasn't good. She wound up sending both back. We barely spoke towards the end. I dropped her off and no kiss. It was terrible. Our first kiss was... At this party that we went to. On our first date, she made the first move on that as well. She has a great smile and I just went in for it. I easily forgot about P.F. Chang's. They thought my best personality trait was... She's very outgoing. Outgoing. Definitely the can-do spirit. I thought their best personality trait was... My calm and laid-back demeanor. I'm pretty charismatic. I'm a good listener and I'm very supportive. Their first impression of me... Her height and uh, she was goofy. A lot of energy. Well, cultured, educated. We bonded the most over... Sports, basketball, and football. We both definitely like to laugh. I would say black films. The best picture of us is... We loved to... Party. A lot of house parties. Like multiple in one night. Going to events. Art galleries. Going to check out book signings. Local artists. I introduced them to... She definitely put me on the yoga. Second layer of the nightlife, getting the connects who would help you get past lines or VIP area. Her organization and you know those 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 levels of skills. They introduced me to Drake and partying. I was definitely a bad influence. Knowing when to just ease up and relax. Movies. Our go-to date restaurant was Joe's Pizza in New York. From Dollar Pizza to like Artichoke, Roberta's, and such. It was a little bistro that served breakfast all day long. Who takes longer to get ready? Savannah, definitely. Definitely Savannah. Savannah takes longer. Yeah. I'll end up walking out the door with like jeans and a t-shirt on after like trying on a million outfits. Our song was... It's a song by Pretty Ricky called On The Hotline. We don't have a song in particular. In the morning with Drake and J. Cole. We went to... We both vacationed um, on Martha's Vineyard and she would be with her friends and I'd be with my friends and family. We would link. The farthest we got was out in Sac Harbor. Nowhere specifically. We love to watch. We would watch a lot of basketball games together. We didn't really have a TV show. The show we could come to terms on was Shark Tank. Our sex life was... We were in college, so it was as good as it could be for that, that time and age, but it got better over time. <laughs> it was healthy. No complaints in that department. In the morning, I would always... Get up too f***ing early. <laughs> She'd wake up, lots of yoga. She would do like a, like, like a random dance routine with a random Drake song every morning. <laughs> and with Ryan, I always sing his favorite song in the morning. It's not his favorite, but it's mine. My parents thought they were... They liked me. Our parents knew each other, so I kind of had that working in my favor. I think they always appreciated me. My mom knows her mom. 
I always knew her dad. Our mother liked me a lot. I was raised as a Caribbean little boy, you know, so I, I try to be polite, respectful. Their parents thought I was. I thought she was, she was a good person and she had good energy. My parents always liked Savannah. We went to prom together, so my dad was always like, oh, damn, Cam, nice work. Well, they loved her. Parents love me. Tall, beautiful, well-spoken. I pass with flying colors every time. I would call them. They are like Mr. Boogie, cause I'm from the Bronx, Boogie Down Bronx, and I dance, so it's Mr. Boogie. <laughs> it's always Cam, Cam, Cam. She once heard my mom call me Cammy, and she was like, oh, okay, Cammy. Jan, which is the last three letters of my first name, Ryan. And they would call me. Savvy. Sav, Sav savvy. savvy. It's definitely like a universal nickname now, but I would like to say or think that I, I give it to her first. She wanted me to call her Savage. I was like, no. <laughs> we communicated most often via... Text message. Mostly text. I was more comfortable texting. She would randomly FaceTime me all the time. In a relationship, I'm really good at... Being spontaneous. Showing me some new things. She's very attentive. I could be better at... Dancing. She knows. <laughs> Not going off the grid or con communicating when you are traveling. She's too much of a people pleaser. She could just be just herself, and that would be more than enough. We like to dance to. Mostly like hip hop and like R&B. Drake. If there was a beat, we would dance to it. Even if we couldn't dance well, we still dance to it. Ryan, maybe a little salsa. We're in Miami, so they always had, every spot you go to, they always play a little Latin flavor. The best thing they did for me. I tried to be there for her when her father passed away and just support her in any way that she needed. She's been through a lot. So I've always just been there as uh, kind of a support figure for her. Being there for her as a beacon of light as she was starting her company and pursuing, just beginning to pursuing her, her fashion modeling. And the best thing I did for them. She would like tell me about different job opportunities and sports management because we're both interested in the same field. She has a lot of drive and ambition, so she just kind of constantly showed me how to keep that always top of mind and kind of keep going after it. Really helped me as I was pursuing a new uh, career path. We were really both anchors of support for one another. Did we say I love you? Not in the traditional sense, like we said, like, love you. We dropped the I. We did not. Yeah, but I don't think we were in love. You know, it, it hadn't gotten there yet. They knew my favorite food was... She likes truffle fries. A pizza spot. Thai. Truffle fries. Truffle everything. My favorite restaurant is... Joe's Pizza. It's called like John's. Something Thai. Joe's Pizza. My favorite ice cream flavor is... Chocolate. Vanilla. Chocolate. Chocolate. I like my ice cream like I like my men. My celebrity crush is... Drake. Drake. Matthew McConaughey. No. Idris Elba. Drake. My favorite movie is... Any Given Sunday. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. My favorite musician is... Drake. Drake. Drake to all the answers. Probably why Ryan doesn't want to be with me anymore. My favorite sports team is... The Lakers. Lakers. My favorite flower is... I don't know if she likes flowers. Ooh, don't think I know that one. I remember seeing roses at her, her place in Miami, so... Roses. They know I love to travel to. Everywhere. I mean, everywhere, honestly. Oh my god, everywhere. Everywhere. Catch flights, not feelings. <laughs> they know I've always wanted to visit. Anywhere with a beach. Somewhere in Mediterranean. Maybe Thailand? Barbados. They probably don't know that, though. They know I'm really proud of my. Becoming a yoga instructor. Definitely her ambition and her drive. Pursuing her dream, making it a reality. Yoga business. They know I hate. When people are late. People who can't keep that same energy. I needed to fall asleep to the television. She did not, so probably that. Pigeons. Ugh, I can't even say the word. My greatest skill is... Networking. Being able to work the room. She's great at talking. Communication. One word that best describes me is... Tenacious. Driven. Energy. Vibe. My most used emoji is... The laughing, crying one. Crying, laughing. The red heart. I have two. Her hands and a heart. They knew I always dreamed I would. Becoming a yoga instructor. Becoming successful in the space of yoga and wellness. To really make it within modeling. 
become a model. My favorite hobby is... Yoga. Either yoga or traveling. Running. Yoga. I'm most afraid of... I'm not sure. She likes to conquer her fears. Whatever she does want in life, not being able to do it or achieve it. Failure by her definition. Not going for my wildest dreams. Something that always makes me happy is... Alcohol. Traveling or living out that dream? Being recognized for any one of her achievements. The beach. My most cherished item is... Her dog. It's a little Pomeranian called Nola. Her father's ring. I think it's very special and close to her. It would have to be something her father gave her. My dad's ring. He passed away when I was in high school. We dated for... About a year. Probably around four months. Four or five months max. We broke up because... I met somebody else. It was doomed to happen. College, man. Just made sense for us to, as we were growing apart, kind of do the split. I got a job in Miami. So again, long distance, not gonna work. She was moving, it just wasn't gonna work. My worst habit was... She was definitely impatient. Moving around so much. Her highs were really highs and her lows were really low. I'm impatient, gotta get shit done. And their worst habit was... Mumbles. He's a flirt. Us being both very social probably would go nonstop. He's a flirt too. Well, I'm more of a homebody. She was more of a socialite, so we just never really met in the middle, you know, enough. They're all flirts. Can't trust them. They hated my... I guess sometimes she didn't know when to like call it. The night is over. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> just kind of that nonstop life scene. She would oftentimes beat herself up or inundate herself and overwhelm herself. And it just seemed unnecessary. I hated their... I have a lot of female friends and I've been called to flirt before, so she definitely, definitely hated that about me. Probably me trying to get out of the scene and just, you know, focus on growth. At times, I could be a guy who looks at the glass as half empty. For me, it was realistic. For her, it was pessimistic. We just never met in the middle there. She was extremely optimistic, so... The worst thing they did to me was... I cheated on her. Thinking it's a good idea for us to split? No, well, nothing comes to mind. We didn't really date long enough to have those moments. And the worst thing I did to them was... She didn't necessarily do anything. She didn't really have any bad things. Nothing really comes to mind. I'm an angel. We always fought about... I'm always late. Him texting other girls. Probably where to go next or where to eat. Same thing. Texting other girls. Yeah, you know, I appreciate my downtime where she doesn't really give herself much downtime. So we would definitely come to a, a, a little bit of an argument there. We didn't fight at all. Were we in love? No. Mm, uh, I thought I was, but I wasn't. I don't think we got there. More lust than love. We weren't in love yet. We are in love. I got over the breakup after... Probably not long either. She's not the type to wallow in it. Probably like a few months. I was heartbroken. I don't think long because it was a productive breakup. Two weeks, I was in Miami, so I got over it pretty quick. I think she bounced back pretty quickly. It was really just like a day or two because we developed our like friendship really quickly and like ma that made me feel better. They got over the breakup after. Not long. I think I was pretty okay right afterwards. I think I bounced back pretty quickly. How did things end? And I kind of just told her that there was somebody else and she kind of had an idea that there was somebody else. We both knew that she was moving and I think that we also both knew where we were at, so it wasn't a long, drawn out argument. It started off as a phone call, led to us meeting up at either a coffee shop or a park, and we just talked, discussed us. It was better that we part ways but still remain very good friends. Would we date again? I mean, anything is possible, but I enjoy our friendship. You know, there's always opportunity and chance. Yeah. I did all of them again. <laughs> Why not? I mean, the only reason we split is pretty much for a geography reason. The best thing that come out of the relationship was... Definitely our friendship. I don't want to say he's like a brother because that's weird. When you're with somebody who's social, you get to experience that growth. We still support each other, so that relationship that was left in the end is definitely of great value. Are we still on good terms? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
We stayed friends because... We were friends first, that was like our foundation. Because we were so close and friends before we started dating. We didn't have a bad breakup. We knew we were gonna stay friends. You know, we didn't overcomplicate a new relationship. They would say they miss my... She was always down to like go out or do whatever or go on a trip or whatever. Always being up for going wherever. Our conversations. And I would say I miss their... I would go out and be more outgoing and hype. Those lips. I'm fun. The good times we had. My cool temperament. His love and kisses and lips <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Wanna come back together? <laughs> the best memory of our relationship is... How she became like a part of my friend group. Actually, we went to prom together. We had a good time. We decided one night with a bottle of wine to just go to the beach at night. Eight, and nine, eight or nine o'clock at night, and we just talked for hours. We were there till like three or four o'clock in the morning. I was talking to her about the stars. She was talking to me about dreams and things she wanted to pursue in life. It was, it was awesome. I think they would tell my future partners. Don't be boring. <laughs> you gotta be open to being social. <laughs> be patient with her. What I'm looking for is... A good friendship, first and foremost. Someone who's ready to fully commit and uh, take the dive. A companion. A guy who knows what he wants, is a nerd on the inside, but likes to have a good time.